All right, let's warm up. Whenever you run a race, it's really important that you warm up your body, right? So that you don't pull a muscle while you're running or before you work out. Same is true with guitar. We wanna make sure we're taking care of our fingers and we're warmed up and we're ready to go. So we're gonna begin with spiders. Starting on the fifth fret, most guitars have dots on their necks um, or on the fretboard indicating where the fifth fret is. But if you don't, that's okay. We can count one, two, three, four, five. Starting here, we're going to play with our pick. And we're gonna do alternate picking, which means we're gonna pick down. Then we're gonna put our second finger on the next fret, and we're gonna pick up. Third finger, and pick down. And then put your pinky on, and pick up. So this is kinda like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. You're doing two things at once. You're picking down and up, and you're moving across. So, take your time, take it slow. If you need to go at your own pace, go at your own pace. You will eventually get faster the more you practice, but it's okay if you start slow. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to use a metronome. I have my metronome set to 50, and I'm going to play one note every two clicks. Starting on the fifth fret with my first finger, here we go. One, and two, and three, and four down on one, up, three, and up on four, next string, and down, and up, and watch your thumb, and down, and up, next string is, now we're on G, and two, and three, and four, down on one, and two, and three, and four, next string, we're almost there, watch your thumb, and now going back down, down on four, up on three, Make sure your thumb is in the back of your guitar. Now four. Make sure your wrist is feeling comfortable and not pressed up against the neck. The thumb should be in the back of the neck. And three, and two, and one, and four, and three, and down on two, and up, on one, here we go, we're almost there, feel the burn, here we go, almost there, woo, how was that, did you stay on the metronome, was that too fast for you, was that too slow for you, Sometimes going slow is actually harder than going fast because the metronome gives us consistency. So when you're running a race, sometimes it's easy to just sprint and go as fast as you can, but then you get super tired and then everyone passes you. And I might be speaking from experience. So metronome, consistency, steady wins the race, right? So take it slow, take your time. That is the spider. Round two of the spider. We just did one, two, three, four. Now we get to do one, three, two, four. And I'm just going to demonstrate what this looks like. You can practice this on your own. Um, but we're first gonna go one, and then up on three, down on two, and then up on four. Let's take that on the A string and I'll go much slower. So first, and then up on three, and 
down on two. And then up on four. Boom. And the next string. And then up on three. And then down on two. And up on four. So eventually, when you've practiced it, and you've worked with a metronome, and you've done it a long time, it'll sound like this. But not yet, not today. Today, just take it slow. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes I forget to breathe, so I have to remind myself, like, hey, breathe. It's gonna be okay. Okay. So those are spiders, one, two, three, four, and then our challenge, one, three, two, four. Next, we're going to do the C scale. There'll be another video of more about the C scale um, because this is something that we've worked on a lot together, but it's one of our warm ups. So we're gonna begin. Start with a C chord, third finger, third fret of A, second finger, second fret of D, we have the open G, and then first finger, first fret of B. Yeah! That's our C chord. There will be more videos about the C chord, but for now, there's our C chord. A good way to test the C chord is play one note at a time, and you have to press down really hard. Watch your thumb, make sure your thumb doesn't sneak up here, make sure your wrist doesn't go down there either. So we have our thumbs. In the back of our necks, our wrist is chilling out by our side, and we want to create a nice open space. You should be able to stick your finger through your hand there. So not, not too squishy and not too non-squishy. Just the perfect amount of squish. Okay, C scale. This is our C note. Third finger, third fret. And then we have our open D, which is our third string. Second finger, second fret on the D, which is right there. Third finger, third fret of D, which is right there. And there's the G. I don't know why I'm showing you that. And then Second finger, a second fret of A, open B, and first finger, first fret. That's our C scale. Let's try it again. C, open D, second finger, second fret is Third finger, third fret, F. Notice how I'm also doing alternate picking. Down on G, second finger, second fret of your G is A. And then open B and C. And now let's go back down. C. B, A, G, F. E, D, and C. C. So again, practice it with a metronome. On your own time, eventually it sounds like this. doesn't today, but it will. You've got this. Keep practicing. Hope your fingers are warm and ready to go.